Burkhanism or Ak Jang is a new religious movement that flourished among the indigenous people of Russia's Gorno Altai region Okrug between 1904 and the 1930s. Tsarist Russia was suspicious of the movement's potential to stir up native unrest and perhaps involve outside powers. The Soviet authorities ultimately suppressed it for fear of its potential to unify Siberian Turkic peoples under a common nationalism. Originally millenarian, charismatic and anti-shamanic, the Burkhanist movement gradually lost most of these qualities, becoming increasingly routine, institutionalized around a hierarchy of oral epic singers, and accommodating itself to the pre-existing Altaian folk religion. It exists today in several revival forms. On the whole, the Burkhanist movement was shown to be a syncretistic phenomenon combining elements of ancient pre-shamanist, shamanist, Lamaist and Orthodox Christian beliefs. According to a professor of Tomsk State University El Shurstova, it emerged in response to the needs of a new people, the Altai Kizi or Altaians who sought to distinguish themselves from the neighboring and related tribes and for whom Burkhanism became a religious form of their ethnic identity. <inaudible> <inaudible> Origins of the name Burkhanism is the usual English-language scholarly name, which has its origin in the Russian academic usage. One of the Burkhanist deities is Ak Burkhan, or White Burkhan. Burkhan means God or Buddha in Mongolic languages, yet Burkhanism is not considered Buddhist, as the term is also used in shamanistic nomenclature. For example, in Mongolian shamanism, the name of the most sacred mountain, the rumored birthplace and final resting spot of Genghis Khan, is also Burkhan Khaldun. Ak Burkhan is only one of a pantheon of deities worshipped by Burkhanists see list below, but Ak Burkhan nevertheless provides the name of the religion in Russian, and thence into other languages. The Altaian name for the religion is Ak Jang, white faith. White refers to its emphasis on the upper world in the three-world cosmology of the Turkic and Mongolian Tengriism. Alternatively, the name may also allude to Ak Jang's rejection of animal sacrifices in favor of offerings of horse milk or horse milk alcohol. Jang means authority, faith, custom, law or principle, and canon or rules of ensemble. In more colloquial settings, the term may also be used as a way of doing things and is used in reference to religions as well as political systems. Early history. In April 1904 Chet Chelpin or Chot and his adopted daughter Chugal Sarek Chandik reported visions of a rider dressed in white, and riding a white horse. This figure, whom they called Ak Burkhan, White Burkhan, announced the imminent arrival of the mythical messianic hero Orat Khan who was actually a real historical figure, Koit Orat Prince Amorsana. The central figure in the research of Burkhanism in the past 40 years, however, has demonstrated that Waro Khan is a mythologized image of the Dzungar past of the people of Altai Kizi. Chet and Chugal gathered thousands of Altaians for prayer meetings, initially in the Tering Valley. These were violently suppressed by mobs of Russians, instigated by the Altaian spiritual mission, who were afraid of the potential of the competing religion to decrease the Orthodox Christian flock in Altai. Chet and Chugal were arrested, Chugal was released, and after a prolonged trial Chet was fully exonerated by court and released in 1906. Researcher Andrei A. Namensky see article below compares the Burkhanist movement to other indigenous revitalizing movements around the world, such as the Native American ghost dance or the Melanesian cargo cult. An excruciatingly detailed treatment of the comparisons and comparability of Burkhanism with the Melanesian cargo cult, the Mennonites, the Dukobers of Georgia, the Maritsi of Nizhny Novgorod, and many other movements, is provided in Shurstova's dissertation from the 1980s. Namensky says the prime motivating factor was Altaian's fear of displacement by Russian colonists, Russification, and subjection to taxation and conscription on the same basis as Russian peasants. Andrei Vinogradov thesis linked below sees Burkhanism as a typical typical nomadic Turco-Mongolian mobilization pattern—aiming to link families and clans soak into a steppe empire which in this case never materialized. The Burkhanists' veneration of heroes from oral epics, he says, serves much the same cultural centralizing function as the veneration of other divine heroes such as Jesser, Manas, or Genghis Khan. As such it constitutes a major aspect of Turco-Mongolic religion, distinct from shamanism. 
After the arrest of Chet and Chugal, Tyri Akemchi arose to become the most prominent Irelikshi, and helped organize the movement. Having been exposed to Buddhism through his years as a translator in Mongolia, Tyri added a number of Buddhist trappings to Burkhanist ritual, such as bells. Within a decade, most of the Altaian population had joined the new faith. In 1918 Gregory Koros Gherkin and other Altaian leaders declared the formation of something called the Karakoram Regional Committee Upreva, with the object of establishing an Orat Republic. This was intended to include not only Altai but also neighboring republics of Tuva and Kakassia. It was forcibly dissolved with arrival of Bolshevik power in 1921. Deities Burkhanism accepts the three worlds of Mongolic and Turkic tradition. These are the upper, middle, and lower worlds in other words, heaven, earth, and the underworld, however, it rejects worship of traditional deities associated with the underworld. In addition, it imports into worship many figures from Altaian oral epic lore, which were not worshipped in the shamanic part of the Altaian religion. Uch Kerbustan Uch means three, while Kerbustan comes from the Sadayan Kormazta, and thence from the Avestan Ahura Mazda, thus, a triune god. Though imported from oral epics, Uch Kerbustan is a generalized spirit rather than a hero of stories with a personality. He may be analogous with the Turco-Mongolian high god Tengri heaven. Rather than an import from Buddhism, Christianity, or Turkic Islam, this particular trinity is likely to have been inspired by other triune gods and heroes from Turkic culture sometimes in the form of a god with three sons. Uch Kerbustan is connected with the following three messianic heroes, also from Altaian oral epic lore. Orat or Galdan Orat mythological ancestor of the Western Mongols. A conflation, dim historical memory of a number of real-life Western Mongolian leaders from around the 17th century including Galdan Saran, Amorsana a legendary Khoit Orat chieftain who fled Chinese territory for Russian after the 1756 Qing destruction of Dzungaria, Shunu, Wolf, the Altaian version of Asina, the totemic lupine ancestor recognized by various Turkic peoples, the gods of the upper world, or Aru Tos, pure ancestors are considered fragments or emanations of Uch Kerbustan. Burkhanism calls these Burkhans. Among them are Ak Burkhan, white Burkhan, depicted as an old man with white hair, a white coat, and white headgear, who rides a white horse. Possibly analogous to the Mongolian. White old man. Sagan Ebugan, a symbol of good fortune, Jajik a formless spirit mediator, assists with human divine communication. Vinogradov compares with the Holy Spirit. Altaians distinguished between an Ak Jajik, White Jajik, who carried messages to the gods of the upper world, and a Seri Jajik, Yellow Jajik, who did the same for gods of the middle world, and is identified with the hearth, Umai the goddess of childbirth and children. Other Turkic lore but not the Altaian makes her the consort of the high god Tengri, and thus a primordial mother figure, at in the mother of fire, worshipped before every sacrifice, but especially during one of the three major Burkhanist festivals gods of the middle world, i.e. the familiar spheres of nature and human affairs, include numerous local spirits, such as spirits associated with mountains taika easy or springs arzons, or masters of the game. They may also be associated with particular clans soak. More generalized ones include Altai Easy, the master of Altai, a sort of genius loci, suitably adapted for an Altaian national consciousness, Ulgan a spiritual ancestor of several Altaian clans. Originally a proper name, now generalized. Some sources describe Ulgan as the creator of the universe in Burkhanist theology. This is probably a misunderstanding. Historically, Burkhanism rejected the traditional gods of the underworld, notably Erlik, Erlik, its chief. This rejection is closely related to Burkhanism's rejection of Altaian shamanism, and corresponding elevation of oral epic singers Yarlikshi, by shaman, is here meant Manjaktu Kams, i.e., the costume wearing. 
Specialists who communicate with the underworld gods, both rejections are likely to have been inspired by oral epic lore, which regularly features shamans as villains. Topic. Practices Burning juniper archin for blessing, purification, or healing Home or hilltop altars kur or mergel, with candles and milk offerings Erecting of cairns obu. Recitation, composition, patronage of oral epics Divination and weather control Display of white and yellow ribbons or streamers from trees or strings, or dangling from the back of one's headgear Prayer while standing, with hands raised, or with prostrations Celebration of festivals Shootin or Mergel — a semiannual spring and fall festival dedicated to UCH Kerbustan Chalk or Jajik Choktor — a fall festival dedicated to Jajiks Attacker — dedicated to Ott and some sources speak of a list of 20 commandments for Birkinism. The evidence for this is sparse. Alcohol and tobacco were proscribed in the early years. Chugal came to be venerated as the main recipient of the original message. This was much less true of Chet, although both were addressed with honorific titles. <laughs> Notable Burkhanists Grigory Koros Gherkin, a Soviet landscape artist and leader of the Karakorum Executive Committee. Burkhanism today Russian painter Nicholas Rarik and his wife Helena Rarik passed through Altai in 1926. Nicholas painted Orat — Messenger of the White Burkhan based on his understanding of the movement. Note that the painting's title apparently gets the theology backward. It was rather White Burkhan who was the messenger for Orat. Followers of Agni Yoga, an esoteric movement founded by the Rariks, have encouraged a recent revival of interest in Burkhanism among non Altaians. At the same time, they have insisted on a link with Tibetan Buddhism and a veneration of Mount Baluka, elements not found in traditional Burkhanism. A number of Burkhanist revival organizations emerged during the 1990s, mostly as attempts to formulate or preserve an Altaian ethno nationalist identity. To that end many of them have been persuaded to reconsider earlier Burkhanism's vexed relationship with shamanism and, or Buddhism. A list of movements follows, with the name of a founder or leading supporter in parenthesis. For more information see Agnieszka Halimba's article linked below. Ak Jang Altaiki Sanashkin Aksana D. Zana Alekseva Taneri Nina and Tanova and Daniil Mamayev Ak Suus Nikolai Shodayev Ak Jang Sergei Kainov Aguru Jan no single leader Topic English language sources Andrei Namensky Power of Myth David Johnson What was an as Burkhanism Andrei Vinogradov Ak Jang in the context of Altai religious tradition Agnieszka Halemba Contemporary Religious Life in the Republic of Altai. Nikolai Shadoev. Altai Bilix about the sky and Burkhans. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Russian language sources. Russian language source available for free from the publisher is being translated into English in 2016 Lyudmila Shurstova, Burhanism, Istoki Religii i Etnosa Burkhanism, Sources of Religion and Nation, Tomsk State University Press, 2010 a reproduction of Shurstova's dissertation from 1986, which was a result of the author's ethnographic expeditions to Altai in 1976–1985. Shurstova, Lyudmila. Taina Delini Tering, The Secret of the Tering Valley. Gorno Altaizic, 1997. https colon slash slash lccn dot lock. Gov. 98189212. Topic. References. <references>